Bye apartment. Hello 2022. Hello. You can echo in here. This is the end of an era for us. This is the end of our baby face. Don't tell the kids that, they're still babies. But 2022, we are back to the boat. We are so excited. Everything's moved out. We just spent the entire day cleaning and uh, yeah, it feels really, really good. And also kind of sad to be leaving the place where you brought your babies home, but it's time. This isn't home for us. Let's just hope that Omicron stays where it is and out of our bodies for at least the next four days so we can get on our plane and get to Thailand. Four days, we're in Thailand. For two years, we haven't sailed to another country due to both the pandemic and babies, but that's about to change. The kids are more or less independent and we're embarking on the second half of our circumnavigation, which will take us from Thailand, across the Indian Ocean and around Africa. Of uh, my address and postal code or? We're shipping some air conditioners to Thailand and there's a lot of regulations for getting stuff into Thailand. One of them is you have to have your full name on the package. So I forgot to put my middle name on the package, which I won't reveal here. In English it's pronounced orgy. <laughs> no, or... I'll, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, it's a German middle name. In German it's Aga. In English, um, this was way back before like there was privacy in schools. They posted your grades online and put them up on the wall in the hallways. And uh, the kids, my classmates found out and I was called G for the rest of my school years. <laughs> I was the most frigid little kid. <laughs> it was the worst middle name. Um, yeah, my middle name in, in high school was Orgy. Hold on. Ashley's holding a baby. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. We're always juggling. If the camera's moving, it's because one of us is holding a baby. I've been told to uh, wrap the packages in non-see-through uh, plastics so that the customs officers can't see inside. There's all these dirty tricks that you use when you import stuff Here, around pause. the world. Here, come on, let Mama do it. You ready? Okay. And. A lot of countries have this rule called boat in transit and it allows you to be exempt from customs duties because you're not permanently importing these goods into the country. You're taking them on your boat and out of the net country, but Thailand doesn't go for that. So when, and when it comes to our actual boat, we've applied for this temporary import exemption in Thailand, which they've kindly extended by what, two years now because yeah. of COVID. Otherwise we would have had to import our boat into the country. And that's often the case is when you sail around the world and you move from country to country, you only have a certain amount of time in that country before, well, either your stamp on your passport for you personally runs out or your boat import papers exemption runs out. Dirty secrets of sailing around the world. It's all about logistics. It's not about the wind or the weather mostly. It's about red tape. <laughs> And Thailand uh, does have a lot of red tape, but you know, they have a process for it. So we are, we are jumping through all the hoops and we are following the process. And it really helps when you're importing things that are more expensive. You pretty much have to hire an agent, right? I think it's better because they can grease the process a little bit. They can really grease it. If it weren't for COVID, we would be shipping these parts into uh, Malaysia and to Langkawi. And this is something that most, like we sent a ton of stuff to Langkawi before we arrived in Thailand, before COVID happened. Right now for us to get into Langkawi, AKA Malaysia, we basically have to be doing work on our boat, which we do all the time and we would be doing, but we also have to quarantine for two weeks and pay like $2,000 to an agent. So really it doesn't make much sense to go to Malaysia at this point in time. I wonder what Will is doing. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, you're moving your... <laughs> and... Hi. <laughs> it's our last night in our apartment. By the way, if you're the owner of the place we've been staying in, maybe you should update your light fixture and people would actually like really like it a lot better because one of those nipple lights and it's horrible. Okay, never mind that, we'll start over. But check this out, my mom sent us up on air mattress because we moved everything out and got rid of everything. 
the air mattress she sent up, she thought it was a queen, but it's actually a single. And so Ben decided that he was like, gonna sleep on the floor and be all chivalrous and he totally did it but he's like collected every soft piece of whatever because we don't even have a couch here my mom told him to drink lots of beer so that he wouldn't notice he was sleeping on the floor he might have listened to her i'm not sure <laughs> what's going on oh um there's this thing you have to do to get into Thailand. It's called like the Thailand Pass. It's like an entry permit. It's after the visa, but it takes forever to get approved. But according to this website, you get VIP treatment if you pay $180. That was $160. No, it was $180 today. <laughs> <laughs> it was $160 this morning. So I tried myself this morning and Literally within 15 minutes, I got approved after waiting like seven days. And then, so I just tried Ashley and um, looks like the payment just went through and we'll see what happens in 15 minutes. VIP treatment, man. It's not bribery, it's just VIP treatment. I don't think you can say that on the internet. See, pick a different word. You know, greasing the cogs in the wheel with, you know. <laughs> So the funny thing is, is that I was sure that mine would get approved today just because Ben had done this and it totally didn't. And we have one more day before we fly. So it could have gotten approved tomorrow, but then that's just leaving a little too late for us. I mean, we've paid for COVID tests. We've paid for accommodation. It's like, it's so much money and so many things to change if this doesn't come through and it's not worth it. Another 180 bucks. Good job, Willie. You're really helping out there. That is not good. <laughs> Are we going in a vortex down to Thailand? Can't believe it snowed here this much. Um, um, uh. This is gonna be our first snow angel. Will isn't too impressed with the snow. Okay, here goes. You ready, kiddo? I love the snow. I don't know what our problem is. It could be the fact that when you put a small child in all the snow clothes, they turn into like a safe off marshmallow man. That could be part of it. <laughs> we live on an island on the west coast of Canada. And even though you think it's Canada, it's like, Nobody lives up in Canada and it's like permafrost. It actually like hardly ever snows here because we're so close to the Pacific Ocean that it regulates the air temperature. Couldn't be better timing. Tomorrow, we sit on an airplane for something like 30, 40 hours. The heavens opened up to give us a little workout the day before. I mean, we're perfect, right? <laughs> oh no, mine is perfect. Look at this. Perfect. <laughs> Different folks, different strokes. It's different strokes, different folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We are supposed to be leaving today, but we got a small delay. It rained last night and then it froze.
took the mother's laws car. It has chains. Ours is not. We'll see how this goes. We salted the driveway, but then the main road is. Wait, I gotta open the gate. I gotta close the tailgate. Hold on. Stopping. Oh, this is bad, <laughs> bad news. Bad start. What do you guys think? Do you go make it up there? Let's see. It's okay. Okay, should I open the gate now? Yeah, open the gate. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, this part seems fun. We're only sliding a little. We're not sliding. My mom lives on the Malahat. It's like a small mountain pass, but it's famous for this kind of stuff. Washouts, chaos, people sliding off roads, people crashing. It's a single lane, windy highway road. And it's the main highway up down island and down island. And when something goes wrong, you're stuck. So my mom lives on the stuck side. You know, well, we made it. See? Yay. Yay, onto the main highway. Oh my gosh, that was the biggest skid out at all. <laughs> winter can be challenging. I don't hate winter, I just hate the roads in winter. Look at her touching everything. <laughs> Thailand, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, getting deep for Bodhi. <laughs> One of these people, this little girl, is really happy here. <laughs> I think we're all really happy here. Uh, it was a long flight, but it's so worth it, and uh, we're so excited to be here. We haven't seen Nahoi yet, we're saving that for tomorrow. We finally got our test back this morning, we're allowed to leave, and we decided to hit the beach. So we're up on My Cow Beach. <laughs> it's a very long beach, it's very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, Willa's having her first swim in the ocean in a long time. I don't know if she remembers last time. Yeah. She and this is Bodhi's first swim ever. <gasps> I can't believe it. Yeah, he likes it. Um, I, I obviously forgot hats for my children at the pool, <laughs> I mean at the hotel. So, you know, we've got some work to do here. So we're gonna, we're gonna go hide in the shade at a next sec here. <laughs> Oh, we wanted to say hi. Hey. Hey. Hello from Thailand. Yeah. Daddy, you're You gotta swim over here? Swim over here. Well, we've made it to Thailand, guys. Whoops. We've made it to Thailand. <laughs> We're in what's called the soft quarantine, which means you have to sleep in the hotel room at night, but you can go out during the day. It's quite nice. It's a nice way of quarantine. Uh, tomorrow, we go look at our boat. So if you guys want to get real-time updates, you can join us on Patreon. Otherwise, join us on Instagram at Sailing Nahoa or wait till next week. Anyway, we all love the pool. This has been such a... Uh... Kind of like a, such a lucky break in a way, like this forced quarantine. We had not planned on doing this. We're gonna go straight to work on the boat. Someone's puking in the pool. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's so cute.
Mm-hmm.